Good job, dude. All right, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everyone. Today is a day where we've got to, uh, oh, Neil. Anyway, we've got to dart one of our buffalo. So when we were working the buffalo, if you guys remember back three, four weeks ago, whatever it was, one of the animals, there's a few of them that didn't go through very well. And one of them in particular was number seven who didn't, she just would not go into that head gate area. So we had to let her out, which means we need to give her her worming right now. She also didn't get any vitamins but I'm not going to shoot her with the dart twice right in a row. That'd piss her off bad. So we're just going to fill this up. And uh, we have some injectable versions here and a dart gun that dog's got right there. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and shoot it to her. Now, we could do this every year. And I think, honestly, the cost-wise, it's not that bad just to dart them. But um, it's just easy when you're in there to just give them that drench with a gun all that milky stuff so we've got some decto max we're going to inject this into seven i'm going to get it filled up really it's just put the needle on the end here we're going to give her 10 cc's or 10 milliliters whatever it is i'm going to go up to the number five twice put it in the dark put it in the gun and you shoot her Those pigeons, man. Yes, they're still here. So the darts we use are new darts, meaning P-N-E-U-D-A-R-T. Non-reusable, uh, it's one-time use, throw them away afterwards. So you can get different lengths on them, on the, on the needle itself. What size needle is this? This is a 10cc, three-quarter inch needle. Um, 14 gauge so it's an RDD I like this one it uses just these 22 pellets um, and you shoot them right so it, it's the gun is the most expensive part now obviously these things aren't that cheap these are 32 bucks each for five so if you have to shoot five animals you just spent $32 and then you just got the me medication which isn't so bad these bullets 16 bucks for like a hundred of these things so it's not that bad at all either. But uh, you got a way just, do you want to use manual feed for worming? Do you want to just dart them when you need to? You just got to figure that out yourself. I don't know. I'm, if you dart it, you know it got it. Otherwise feed, you just don't. Anyway, I'm gonna get onto that something else later. So let's just go dart the animal. Let's go find number seven. What's her name, bud? Stacy. Stacy, let's go find Stacy. So our intent was to actually go dart the animal, number seven, Stacy, and then not have her in here when we dart her, because they're all gonna come in here, but uh, the animals started getting really curious <laughs> what we had in the back of the truck. So we're just gonna feed them their alfalfa and then try and dart her either before she comes in, which ain't gonna happen, or we're gonna dart her when she leaves. Right. Now. Alfalfa shares a lot. Wow, you're uh, covered. You need a lot of help there, Chica. I bet the buffaloes will look, look you clean. Yeah, yeah. Now they're man eating monsters. Yeah. Really? Yum. Yummy alfalfa. 
I leave it in there. the bulls are away. That's good. See your tag, girl. Barbara. Oh, hi, Nine. I don't remember your name. Rose. Uh, 13, Denise. Maybe she's Nadine. I can't remember. Oh, you look like Debbie. 18. Looking good. Got some more ladies coming. Aaron. Not sure who you are. They're looking for Stacy right now. Hi, Aaron. Yeah. Hi, 15. Stephanie. And one more slow one. Hi. Hi, girl. You Rachel? I think that's Rachel. Oh, the boys usually pick the first trough. Hey Ahmed. Ahmed Bartok. Hanging out with Debbie. In all, I don't think the buffalo have lost a lot of weight. I think they've maintained pretty well. We've been doing 200 pounds of alfalfa um, twice a week. And it's been lasting pretty well. It's been doing good. We were giving Rio Max, as you know, but we've kind of just cut it up into just two blocks. What is it, the first week? I think the second, fourth. I, don't know. I think it's the second full week and the fourth full week. So we're just kind of rationing it so it's not out there all the time because they're just consuming it. So that's just a steady, <laughs> steady kind of what cycle. Do we call it? Cycle, whatever. So, yeah. They're just still a lot more calm with this than they are with cubes, which is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so this we think is number seven, but the ear tag is just so far in the ear on the right side, we can't really read it. And uh, so I'm gonna have to go wander around and see if I can get better shots and looks of it without getting gored. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna shoot her in here. <laughs> Give this a little love tap. And her butt's right at me right here. Now, each of the charges has like a distance measurement. You look on a chart and it says 20 yards, at least for my case. Given the amount of charge, it's in the 22. And uh, I'm gonna let her kind of step back a little bit, maybe wander around, I'm gonna shoot her from a distance. It's turned out to be super close. I know, you need your 20 yards. Oh, that wasn't that bad. She didn't freak out. And it was a pretty good shot. Nicely placed. Anyway, we're just seeing if it dark kind of comes out and um, if it does, we'll go pick it up. But otherwise it's done, right? So she's got it. You'll hang in there for a while and eventually it just at some point comes out. So we'll just give it some time. Ooh, the running of the yearlings. It's mushy poo. Clark, grab those. Cool. Watch out, Clark.
All right, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Splash. Well, that was a little bit more than I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. That last one has ants on it, just so you know. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I just not figured that out. <laughs> you are covering the hole. Don't fall over. All right, so this trough is really bothering us. This is one that's just not shutting off. The pump is off and it's still filling up with water. So it's not closing all the way. Like it's just not lifting all the way up. So I'm gonna have to reach my hand in there and see what we've got going on. There. Does it have a piece inside? Everything's there? Here, take this. I can't get it in. I've tried holding the ball down and trying to thread it. It's just not threading. Arm turning red. We're gonna let them drink it actually today. I wanna see if it keeps overfilling. These Rojo valves should be good up to like 100 PSI, but they're just not hacking it or something. The ball would be up, but it wouldn't, I could grab the ball and whoop, it just wouldn't lift it all the way. We'll let them drink it down tomorrow. It's gonna be like 80 degrees. We'll come out then, see if this still been leaking, but you can tell this sucker's been leaking a while. So tomorrow it is, we revisit it. Case in point of a good Rojo valve is this one. This one seems to be doing just fine. No water, no leak, no nothing. Um, but yeah, that other guy ain't hacking it. The wee babies are doing good. They're going through a little bit more creep, so we're gonna feed them that too. I want my trough to look like that, not like the freaking water oasis on the other side. The last few days, we've been clearing out the old hay from the two and a half acres here, and we load it up in those sleds. And we take it to our pigs, and they love it. This was so wet um, because it couldn't drain through these little holes. So now that we're kind of clearing it out, it's drying out. It also hasn't rained in a few days. So it's not as gross as it has been, but still kind of gross. So we're gonna load it up, not too heavy, but then we'll go Go give the pigs a treat. Yeah, that's yeah, gross. Uh, this, this is what me and mommy been doing for a week. Yep, there's the yummy stuff we've been finding. It's hard to get. Yep, you almost got that one. There you go. Man, if we had smell o vision you guys would be in luck. Whoo, delicious. All eyes is disgusting. It's actually nice that it's cold. When it's warm, it stinks nasty. All right, just a little bit more up in here, and that's full enough. That's why we shovel this stuff. I don't want to get all over the gloves. Thanks for the warning. By the way, you don't want to pick that up. <laughs> The pigs are probably looking forward to their treat. The water. Oh. <clears throat> All right, let's get some chickies.
good treasure. Is that good? Yeah, you love it. You're a good pig. You happy now? Hi, hey, pig, pig. Pig, pig. You're the not namer. Hi, hi. Hi, pig, pig. Hagrid. Yeah. Right? All right, get out, Mari. I don't know if I really want to record Dad beating the pig to death. Hagrid's a little, uh... Feisty. Feisty. Mm. So they're a lot more calm when they're neutered. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's a story. So she's a little bit more red. This one is... Ariana. Ariana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have the one that's a little bit more orange. And that one is the one who must not be named. Because originally what our plan was, was to select from one of these, keep one for breeding. And so, along with Hogwarts' theme, we thought, well, we don't need to name one of them because we're just going to slaughter it. Which ended up being a Hogwarts name. Yeah, I know. It was you. So out of the two, the one behind me, the one who must not be named, had like a little limp for a number of weeks. And one of her front paws, I think it was. So, anyway, we decided to get rid of her. And maybe process her in March sometime. Anyway, you can tell from the video, she's uh, not limping. And uh, we've had some people ask about piglets and some other things like this. And so it's like, you know what, maybe we should just keep her. So we've got to change her name. And we went from the one who must not be named to the pig who lived. So instead of Harry, we got to go with... Harrietta. Harriet. Harriet. Harriet? Harriet. Harriet. So the, one who lived. the pig who lived. <laughs> Not so we went yet. from Voldemort to Harry, but whatever. So <laughs> the one who must not be named is now the pig who lived, which is Harry yet. <laughs> so Ariana, Harriet, and Hagrid, Hagrid, whatever you want to call him. So Hagrid did get in here and at one time, three, four, no, middle of January, and was in with these chickies. I don't know if he bred any of them. I don't know if they were ready to it. We probably are not going to breed these until a little bit later when they're a little bit older. So that would be when they're seven, probably around eight or nine months actually. So that may not be till May or June that we start breeding them, so. Unless they're already pregnant. Unless they happen to be pregnant, which. We'll find out. Three months, three weeks, three days, beginning of May, hmm. I think, somewhere around there, which we won't know. So we'll, we'll kind of see how things go. But anyway, our newest pig on the homestead, call it property, the ranch, Harriet. We welcome you, the pig who survived. <laughs> the pig who lived. The pig who lived. We're just gonna wrap it up here. Sun's gonna go down. So hope you enjoyed yourself. And our three little piggy update, our animals are looking good. The buffalo are doing really well. 
I will let you know just from stuff going on from work, other things, we're just not posting as frequently as maybe we had, so we're trying to keep up this once a week. We may get it, sneak another one midweek every once in a while, but otherwise it'll be once a week probably. Especially with having to build out the house because I'm not gonna show all of that on film. I'll just give you some updates as we go. All right, I'm done. Like, subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Oh, my God.